So did you see my war on bagworms? Bagworm. Bagworm. Bagworms. Bagworm poop. Bagworm damage. Bagworms. Bagworm. Well, in New Jersey we have another thing. They call it the unofficial state bird. It's the mosquito. So mosquitoes are really bad news in New Jersey, and I don't know, wherever you live, if you don't have them, consider yourself lucky, but we have them here. So I'm going to try something that's a little off the wall, um, a little bit of Pinterest, and a little bit of hacking. I bought this thing, which they don't make anymore. It's made by Echo. It's a mosquito yard shield attachment that goes on to a, it goes on to a gas blower like this, a handheld one. I don't have one of those, so that's the part that's the hack. I have one of these. It's not an Echo, and it's not a handheld. It's, it's a backpack blower. So I'm going to try and adapt this for my blower, and I'm going to go to war with mosquitoes in my yard. All right, let's take a look at the stuff that comes with this pack. This piece goes on the end. It has where the liquid comes out, and the blower makes it disperse on the plants. It's got a hose pre-installed and a little bit of a valve here that you can turn off the flow and turn it on. And here's the guts. This is the tank. Now, the way this is meant to be used is that you sling this on your back, you hook this up to here, and you have your blower and liquid comes out of this, goes down the tube and comes out here. And uh, that's what you use the blower for. And it, it blows the stuff all over your bushes, on the tops, on the bottoms, it blows it all over the place. And so that's what is really good for mosquitoes. The problem is a lot of people complain about this and say that, well, it's really not pressurized. So it's just gravity taking the liquid down. Well, that is a problem, but I'm gonna have it on the top. I'm gonna try and mount it on the top of my backpack blower. So it'll be kind of behind my head. I'm hoping. We're going to see. And we'll see how it goes. This could go horribly wrong. It could vibrate the heck out of these things and break these bolts off. And but I just got to take that risk, you know, like all the great inventors. <laughs> Heat them up. You know, it's just occurred to me we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. I think we're ready for a test. So let's talk about lessons learned. First of all, a gallon and a half makes this really heavy. At eight pounds per gallon, that's 12 extra pounds on top of this thing, made it really hard to get on. I was worried about these things falling off because it was so heavy behind it. The thankful it was sitting on here. That's what prevented it from falling off. So the weight was down here. In fact, you can see some rubbing here. I'd probably have to put some felt or something like that on there because this vibrates so much as it's going. Second lesson learned, the clamps 
only held it for a, a certain period of time, they fell off as well and uh, I had to put them back on. I learned that you can't go over your head with it. If you're spraying down low, because it's a gravity feed system, if you put the nozzle above this, no, no water comes out. So you have to keep it down low. I uh, learned that on the tree. I demonstrated that on the tree and um, I found as long as you keep it down or you move it up and down, that seemed to be a, a decent way to do it too. So, but all in all, it's a viable solution. I think these things, while they're still available, because they are discontinued, um, this could be a viable solution for some people. The other thing I would do is probably put a stringer between here to hold these two because they just want to keep moving um, next to each other and tighten it up a little bit. But other than that, I think this is good if I need to uh, spray for mosquitoes a couple times a summer. I think it works out well. So the next step will be figuring out what to spray to kill those little suckers. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out these related videos and more on my website, handydad.tv.